Hey guys, it's Sam and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. For this video, I'm gonna be talking about what to do while you are in quarantine. I know we are all stuck in this mess of a situation, stuck in our houses, trying to figure out what exactly to do. So I'm going to give you some tips on what to do while in quarantine. For idea number one is to be active. Now, this could be anything. This could be going on a walk around your neighborhood, shooting some free flows, or just working out to get that summer bod. Now, of course, this helps you out both physically, but it also helps you out mentally, which is something everyone needs. Being stuck in our houses is not good for our mental health. Now, I know for my family personally, we have actually been trying out this new sport called spike ball. It's honestly really fun. Um, you vo It's pretty much similar to volleyball. So you volley it back and forth between your partner and spike it down to get to the next team. And they have to do the same. And whoever drops it first or doesn't make it to the net, then um, gets a point. I can show a clip of us playing but i highly recommend finding something fun just to do outside or inside if you have to stay inside but i will leave a link down below so that if you want to play spike ball you can get yourself a spike ball set try something new i am gonna say please do not spend any money if you don't have the money to spend i'm just throwing out ideas and gonna leave links to things that if you want to find something new and you have the money go ahead and buy it. And plus, if you do use the links down below, it does help out my channel and it does support me, so I would really appreciate it. But other than that, let's move on to number two. So tip number two is to smash the like button for this video to show me how much you like it and to help me with the YouTube algorithm. The more likes, the more people will see this video. And honestly, I'm just kidding, but I would appreciate it if you did like this video. Tip number two is to read. Now, of course, if you are in school or a college student like me, you kind of don't feel like reading and I completely understand that. We got enough on our plates already, but it is something relaxing and to keep your minds off of things. So pick up a book that either teaches you about something or something that can make you escape, like what's going on in the world. But reading is definitely a way to relax and to kind of keep you calm during this sort of time. As of right now, I'm slowly but surely reading this book called The Power of Habit. It teaches you um, different ways to create habits and how to help your daily life. I do recommend it. It's definitely an interesting read. I'm only about halfway through it, but it's pretty interesting. I'll leave a link down to it below if you guys want to check it out. Other than that, find a book that you haven't read in a while or find a book that you've been trying to read. This book I've been trying to read for about a year now, so I finally have the time to do it, so that's what I'll be doing. Tip number three is cooking. With everyone being stuck at home, they're gonna have to learn how to cook at home anyway, so why not try out new recipes? If you don't know how to cook at all, just learn the basics. If you do know how to cook, try some new recipes, try something new, try something to create for your family. I've been cooking a lot lately, so I'm just gonna let you know, I've been pretty good at making some killer shrimp and fish tacos. It's been something that um, I do to not only help out my mom when she doesn't feel like cooking, but it's just a super awesome dish that I now know how to make. And plus, if you know how to cook, you'll definitely impress your friends and any other dates that you might get along the way. Tip number four is to donate. Now, during this time, of course, it's very tough and everybody is struggling. So a way to help out if you don't feel like you are helping out is to donate to either nonprofit organizations like Feeding America or the Red Cross, or there's several others that you can donate to. Of course, right now, I just wanna say thank you to all the first responders grocery workers, teachers, sanitation workers, nurses, doctors, everybody who's been on the front lines of this, and I really appreciate everything that you are doing for us. But for everyone else who aren't on the front lines, um, there are other ways that you guys can help out. Of course, the easiest way to donate is to donate money to these organizations. I'll leave links down the be below to the websites of different organizations you can donate money to. Now, whether it's $10 or $1, uh, it's greatly appreciated and every penny counts. Now, of course, there's other ways you can donate. You can take extra cans of food that you have and donate that to your local food banks, or if you are able to donate blood to the Red Cross because they are in need of it. There's lots of ways you, you can donate or volunteer even, but of course, depending on where you live, depends on how 
your availability is or how um, able you are to do those things. But the easiest is to donate money if you are able to. Please do not donate money if you are not able to. On to tip number five, start a project. This could be uh, redecorating your room and organizing it. It can be writing a book or it can be completing a puzzle that you have never completed yet. <laughs> but yeah, just give, give yourself something to work on while over the next couple months or however long your quarantine is going to be. This summer, my family and I are actually doing a vegetable garden outside in our yard. It's something we can do that's outside and something that we can do together as a family. Family. I always thought it was cool to just be able to work hard and actually grow the food that you make and I don't know I think it tastes better um, the food that you grow actually tastes better than what you buy at the store but it's probably because of all the hard work that you put into it but that's definitely a project that we will be doing throughout the whole summer I will be making a video about that about like the whole process of gardening um, and everything and how the process is going for us so hit that subscribe button to see those videos coming up in the future and also plenty of other videos about what we are doing while in this quarantine and some plans that we have over the summer. Number six is to develop new skills. This can be learning a new instrument, learning a new language, or even creating a YouTube channel and learning how to make videos. Start teaching yourself different skills so that once we are all out of this quarantine, you can go out and impress your friends with all these new skills that you have. I used to play guitar and write music when I was in high school and I kind of fell out of it after I graduated, so I'm using this time to start playing guitar again and develop those old skills that I used to have and get back into it. Now when this all started, of course, my brothers have an Xbox console, a PlayStation console, a Wii console, all these sorts of video game consoles, and so they were pretty much set once this all started. But that is one thing you can do. I don't play video games often, but I did get back into playing old DS games that I have not played since I was like 11, which was honestly pretty fun and I was able to beat those video games now that I'm 21 instead of 11 and it was honestly pretty fun to get back into it. Another thing you can do is play old board games that you haven't played in a while. My family and I have been playing Yahtzee and Payday, which Payday I had to buy on Amazon because we accidentally got rid of it when I was a kid. I used to play, we used to play it all the time and it is a great game so if you guys want to check out those board games I linked them down below but just use any board games you have around your house and just replay them. It can be really fun. Last but not least is to watch TV and catch up on movies. This is a great way to just relax and to spend time with people if you are stuck in a house full of people or to just kind of escape what's going on in the world. Enjoy your favorite movies and your TV shows. I know I have been obsessed with watching documentaries on Netflix. I know everybody has pretty much watched Tiger King, so I'm not going to recommend it unless this, this is the first time you're hearing it, but it is good if you haven't seen it. But on Netflix, I've just been constantly watching documentaries and they're all really interesting. I do recommend Game Changers. I don't know. I watch a lot of health documentaries, but there are several on there that you can just skim through if you have Netflix, but any streaming service will do. Also, because I just thought of it, FaceTime. Call people that you haven't talked to in a while. It's a great way, even though we are all spread apart and can't see each other physically, we can at least enjoy the time to spend talking to other people and catching up with people that we haven't caught up with in a long time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed making it for you, and I hope it at least gave you some sort of of inspiration to start something new, stuff to do while we're stuck at home. Please comment down below and let me know what new things you guys are doing while in quarantine and also to give other people in the who are watching this video a chance to see what you all are doing while you're stuck at home and to give them ideas as well. Please subscribe to my channel so that you guys can see new videos. Hit the like button so that more people can see this video. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask when you go out, and just slow the spread of all of this and then sooner than later we will be able to get out to our normal lives. But other than that, I'll see you next time.